we've been looking at React state management using TypeScript, and we've looked at a bunch of different libraries. This time, we're gonna look at Galactic State. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest. No, no, not Galactic Senate, Galactic State which is apparently what you'd name a library if what you really wanted was use state, but more global, I guess. And this video is what you'd get if you had a state management video in this series that didn't look at either MobX, Redux, or a Daishi Kato library. So exciting, we get to look at galactic state this time around. Let's get right to it. Hold on to your butts. Okay, so this is the homepage for Galactic State. The idea is that you import Galactic State, you get this Create Galactic, which in turn gives you, after you call it, with an initial state, which in this case he's passing some empty strings, you get back an array, and the first element in that array is a, a use function, a custom hook, if you will, and you can just use that and that replaces use state directly. You just use it just like you would use use state after that. So pretty cool. Uh, you also get back a second value, which is a non-react contextual setter. So I'll use that as well to kind of show off how this all works. All right, let's go check it out. And I'm gonna clone out my to-do base. And we'll call this to-do galactic. I'll bring up VS Code. For those of you who are interested, by the way, this is an Apollo Midnight theme uh, that I've gone and hacked on a little bit to give it ligatures. So that's that's the theme that we're looking at. Let's go into the terminal. And the next thing I'm gonna do is yarn, but I'm also gonna add while I'm here, galactic state. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Let's bring up the application and have a look around just so you can get yourself familiar with it if you haven't seen one of these videos before. So there's five components in our application. The first is a light dark theme switcher that just happened to come along with the Shocker template that I used to put this together. There's a load button that's gonna go off and grab some JSON. We use that to go and show how you do uh, asynchronous work using the state management system. There is a spot we're gonna put all our to-dos. There's a place where you can put a new to-do and add it. So pretty simple. One component, two components is the top bar. This one to the to-do list is actually one, really two components. And then there is this bottom run one that has two more components. And it's all in, in Shocker UI, so it all looks really nice. Okay, so first thing I need to do is go over here into the store. The store has the interface for our to-do. I'm gonna actually not export anything out of here because I think it all will work without being exported. And then I'm gonna go and bring in this Create Galactic. And we'll call this the Galactic Implementation. And the first thing we need to do is make a couple of custom hooks. We'll make one for the to-dos. And in order to get it so that it understands that we want an empty array of to-dos, we need to go in and say that we want that as the type. The string is gonna work just fine. And we'll call this use to-dos and use new to-do. This is what you know where we're gonna store the new to-do item. So I could just go and implement all the UI for this and you know directly change out the uh, to do array you know go and add items to it and delete items from it and all that sort of stuff but i really want to show like i think sort of proper use of this so i'm going to actually wrap this in its own custom hook that i'm going to call use to do's the real use to do so we'll call this use to do's list and in fact i'm not going to export either of these we're just gonna have this use to do's function, which I can use anywhere, but it turns out that the to do's themselves are going to be global. So let's go in here and first we get the to do's and also the to do's setter. 
from the use to do list, just like you would use state, is just global. Easy peasy. Same sort of thing with new to do and new to do set. And then out of here, we're going to return the API that we want for our custom hook. So we're going to give it the list. Of we're going to return the list of to do so people can use those. We're also going to return the new to do. We're going to have a handy function called set new to do, which is going to take some text, a string, and then it's going to do new to do set on that. You know, just pretty clean. We're going to have the ability to add a to do. which is going to take the content of new to do and add it to that list of to do's. So let us do that. So we're going to call to do's set with add to do of the current list of to do's and the new to do. So that doesn't make any sense that there's this add to do function. Well, there's all these little handy helper functions up here, add to do, remove to do, toggle to do. They're just some basic functional programming style helper functions that just make it easy to maintain the list of to do's. I really didn't want these videos to be about the mechanics of these. So about the mechanics of maintaining a to do list, more about how we model it and how what kind of API we present to the UI. So that's that's why I have those little handy helper functions there. OK, so the next we need a couple more. One is toggle, and that would take an ID, which in this case is a number. And again, it would do that to do set, but in this case, we're going to do toggle to do and then give it the ID. There's going to be one for remove, which we call remove to do. And then finally, update to do, which is going to take an ID and then the text that you want to update it to. So there you go. OK, cool. So when you use use to do's as a hook, you're going to get this handy API coming out the other end of that that's going to make it easy to manage these the list of to do. So let's go try this out. Let's go first go over to our adder component. So I'm going to import use to do's from the store. And with that, I'm going to bring in add, I guess, as well as new to do and set new to do. from use to do's. So it thinks it's all of those are good. So let's just go and wire up the button first. So on click equals just connect that to add. And then over here we have our value, which we're going to set to the new to do. And then we're going to have an on change handler that takes an event and sets that new to do to the current value of the input. Easy peasy. OK, let's go over to our to do list. And we'll bring in that use to do's. And we'll call it. And the first thing we can do is just set that up against that map that's going to go and iterate through them all. And uh, what's, I think this is a good stopping point. Let's go take a look and see how we're actually running. So let's go over here to our to-do list. Looks like it's still working. OK, so let's do hello. Ah, perfect. OK, great. But we can't change it. We can't do anything. Well, we can click on that, but it won't do anything. And we can't delete anything. So let's go and wire that up, too. Go over here to our checkbox. Set the value of checked. We'll make a toggle function. Oops, I don't know what that was. To do ID. And we also need update and remove. We'll add those while we're there. And let's do update first. 
that's just going to take an on change with that event. And we'll do to do ID and then the event target value. Looking pretty good so far. And finally, the delete button, which we'll just call remove with the to do ID. Okay, cool. Let's go uh, try this out. Maybe add, hey there. We can change stuff, we can toggle stuff, we can delete stuff. That all looks really good. There's one little bug here. We're not setting this value to blank when we add it, so let's fix that up really nice. Now we can do that in the store, right? So we can go do that over here in this custom hook. And we'll just do new to do uh, set down here. After we add it, we'll just set it to empty, just like that. Easy peasy. Hey, there you go, perfect. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is do this load thing. Now, normally, I would just go and add a load function over here that took a list of to-dos, but I'm not going to do that this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that, that external function. So this allows us to then set to-dos list outside of the context of this React hook or any React component and have it still integrate. So I want to show that off too. So I'm going to go and export out of here a new function, we'll call it load. It'll take a set of to-dos. And then it's just going to set to-do list. And you can see from the API signature here, it's expecting a new value, or it's expecting to take an old value and then have us mutate it and create a new value. In this case, we're just going to replace it. So just drop it in there like that. Boom. All right, so the first thing we need to do is bring over this import into our top bar. Also conveniently has the URL for our data. So I'll bring in load. Now let me go show you what the data looks like. Basically a big old JSON file. Well, not even really that big. Basically just got a bunch of IDs and text and duns. And this is exactly the topology of a to-do. Cool. So I'm gonna first create an onload function. And that's gonna do a fetch. Then we'll convert that to JSON. And then finally, we'll send it off to that load function. And the only thing we need to do now is connect it to the load button. So let's go do that. All right, let's go try. Hit load. Oh my gosh, get dinner fixings, cook dinner, eat dinner. Boom. Easy. Peasy, lemon squeezy. But remember when I said this wasn't going to be a Daishi Kato state management library video? I lied. So it turns out Daishi Kato actually does have a, a similar mechanism uh, for this called React Hooks Global State. And I just want to show how that compares and contrasts. So uh, let's go re-implement this a little bit uh, using that. So I'm just going to close this all up. And I'm going to save the store off to a new file called store.galactic.ts. And then I'm going to stop the server and we're going to add React Hooks Global State. It's okay if you have two state managers around fine. <laughs> okay, so let's go and bring in uh, use global state like that. And we'll go over here to the store and import that. And I'm going to let's go check out the API signature down here. It's called use global state. And I'm gonna give it the definition of what we're gonna have in there. We're gonna have to-dos, which would be an array of to-dos. And then we'd have new to-do, which would be a string. All right. And then we'll initialize that to an empty array and an empty string. 
cool. And now in this case, use to do list is going to equal calling use global state with the key. And you can see that it's, it's already hinting me that we will either need to do's or new to do in here. We're going to say it's to do's. And we can get rid of that one. And then use new to do is going to be the same thing with new to do. Just like that. And then we got to figure out what to do with set to do's list down here. He also has a way to do this outside of the use of React. In this case, it's set global state like that. And in this case, we just call set global state and give it, and well, you know what? Let's just make a nice little handy helper function here. So we'll call it set to do list, and it'll take a list of to do's. And in turn, it will call set global state with the to do's and then the list of to do's. So this is basically translating create global state into the kind of thing we had before or handy little helper use functions if that's the way you want to call it as well. But regardless, it's really just around creating and managing this, this global state for you. So let me save that out. And I'll start that up and see if it works. All right, light and dark still work. That's plus. Let's try uh, adding one. Hey, there we go. Can I change it? Looks like I can. I can toggle it. Awesome. I can delete it. Perfect. Awesome. And can I load? Yep, I can do that too. Great. Very cool. All right, so two different state managers that are very simple replacements, essentially, for use state, except global. There is galactic state and also... Daishikato's React Hooks Global State. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at Galactic State and Daishikato's Global State Library. I think it's great that you can basically just replace use state with something global, just like that. But of course, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this? Be sure to leave that in the comments section down below, or you can jump on our Discord server, which is linked to in the description, and just have a chat with us directly about it. But in the meantime, of course, feel free to like and share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, from myself to yourself, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.